Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how you can store your own day-to-day -day personal passwords inside PAM360 solution and manage it for yourself. Now, PAM360 is uh, primarily an enterprise password vault. As you know, uh, the solution is used for securely storing and managing the secrets of the organization. But apart from that, there's also a dedicated personal section available for each and every user of this PAM solution. So whether you're an IT user or a non-IT user, as long as your enterprise have the PAM360 solution deployed, you will be able to log in and access your own personal locker section inside the vault, and you will be able to use it for storing your own day-to-day -day passwords. So it, it brings in a best practice uh, to encourage users to move away from uh, storing passwords in sticky notes, spreadsheets, or other um, uh, single point uh, password storage areas. So in PAM360, if you go to the personal tab for the first time, it will ask you to choose your own passphrase. So this passphrase is the master encryption key of your um, your uh, your private locker. So just make sure you choose a passphrase that you will remember. Um, and better yet, you always have a copy of the passwords uh, until you get a hang of this personal wallet and you start using it effectively, at least for a few days. So once you choose the passphrase, we will basically encrypt any data you store inside using that passphrase. So the next time you come to the personal tab, if you don't have the passphrase, we will not be able to recover any of the contents that you have stored in your private area. So that's why um, it's a good idea to choose a passphrase that you will remember uh, at the same time that is complex enough uh, for us to be able to use it for encrypting your data. So once you're in personal tab, you will be able to store any form of password, basically. Uh, so we, by default, we've got this like web accounts, banking, credit cards, contacts as default fields. But you can create your own category. So for example, I want to store some important dates. So uh, I'll create a column called dates, or mm, let me just call it as important dates, for example. And uh, I will mark this as date column. And um, I can just say, that also has important dates and just say save. Now, I can actually create um, a, a, a new account and uh, I can actually store a date in it and I can um, store what is the date, like what is it makes it important. So, I mean, the, the category uh, to store data can be text or a string or a number or even a password or a date. So you can create your own custom categories. And for each category, you can even create your own custom columns and then start storing your passwords. Now, if you already have a lot of passwords in like spreadsheets, you can import them using this import accounts option. You will be able to import a CSV file with all your usernames and passwords and URLs directly, and you will be able to make use of this personal vault. And let's say you're um, you're moving from one team to another team, or uh, you're leaving the organization, and you would like to take your personal passwords with you. We also have an export option where you can export all the data that you have stored in your own private locker before your account is either disabled or deactivated in Active Directory so that you can no longer log into the spam solution at all. So that being said, the personal tab, like I said, is available for all users, um, regardless of what role you pay in the PAM solution. Even if you are an end user, you will have this personal tab, so you can make use of it for storing your day-to-day -day passwords and other sensitive information. 